not necessarily each individual, but each organism, so different species of mammal, um, has different quality milk. For instance, you, you guys were looking at the hyenas just now. They've got exceptionally strong milk. So much so that those cubs grow v- super fast. And, and just the, the main reason for that, guys, is with the hyenas scavenging a lot and eating quite a bit of bone, there's a lot of calcium in their diet, so that works through to their milk and that causes the babies to get in a lot of nutritious milk. Um, with the meerkat, also very good milk. I mean, for a single mom to be able to raise sometimes even up to five pups um, and doing so quickly. I mean, the, the meerkats only drink milk for up to about, I want to say, four months before they, before, they want, uh, before they are ready and able to, do, to switch over completely to solid food. So very, very strong milk. However, the composition of each species have of their milk um, is going to be different, you know, because diets change or, or differ or habits differ, and you know, the size of the animal is different. So, the smaller the animal, obviously, the more concentrated the milk should be. However, it's not always the case. Um, but then, between different individuals within a species, you might find slight changes in their milk as well. Um, so, so definitely, yes, there is, there is a difference in each individual within a species' milk and also between different species as well.